morning, good morning, good morning, friends, good morning. This is Diane, and I'm coming to you today with another word from the Lord. I am coming to you today with a word of encouragement and upliftment that by the time I am finished, you will know that truly God was with us. Hear the word of the Lord today. I am your strength. When you begin a day feeling weak and weary, it's all right. Your weakness can be a reminder of your need for me. Remember that I am with you continually, ready to help you as you go along your way. Take my hand in joyful trust, letting me guide you and strengthen you. I delight in helping you, my child. Whenever you feel inadequate for the task ahead, stop and think about your resources. I, your strength, am infinite. I never run out of anything. So when you work in collaboration with me, don't set limits on what you expect to accomplish. I will give you what you need to keep moving forward step by step. You may not reach the goal as quickly as you'd like, but you will get there in my perfect timing. Refuse to be discouraged by delays or detours. Instead, trust that I know what I'm doing and just take the next step perseverance and trust in me make a potent combination hallelujah bless the name of the lord that's the word of the lord to us today friends the lord is my strength my strength let's pray father in the name of jesus we come to you today god Thanking you for your word to our lives this morning. Thanking you, O oh God, for the reminder that you are our strength. Lord, I pray today that each and every person that's listening, that they will find strength in their weakness, O oh God. I pray that you would bless their lives and cause them, O oh God, to have an encounter with you, to experience you even today in a brand new way, mighty God. I thank you now for taking charge of the airwaves so that your word, O oh God, will go through with power, with anointing and with clarity so that it would reach the hearts of your people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Friends, we're speaking about strength today. We're speaking about the strength of God the might of God to carry us in our times of weakness, to carry us in our times of doubt, to carry us in times when we think everything is lost and nobody is there, nobody understands. But the Lord is saying to us today, today, this 24th day of January 2019, that He is our strength all we need to do is rely on him rely on him trust his word trust that he is true trust that he is king of kings he's lord of lords there is none like him and when he says he is our strength that's exactly who he is in our lives so today, let's look at his word. Let's look at his word in the book of Psalm, Psalm 59, verses 16 to 17. And it says, But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O oh, my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. 
Let me read that again for you, friends. But as for me, I will sing about your power. Each morning, I will sing with joy about your unfailing love. For you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. Oh, my strength. To you I sing praises. For you, O oh God, are my refuge. The God who shows me unfailing love. Friends, the Lord is our strength. Yes, he is. He has said it in his word. He has declared it over us that he is our strength. So we should sing about it. Sing about his power. Sing about it in the morning. Sing about it at noon. Sing about it even in the evening time. Sing with joy about the unfailing love of God. You see, there are times when we're not going to be loved or even liked by everybody. But there is somebody who loves us unfailingly and he strengthens us because of that love. And that's our God, our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He loves us with an unfailing love. Can you even imagine what that is? Can you even think about how much God loves you with that unfailing love? You know, sometimes in life when you go through and you've heard me say that human relationships are one of the most difficult to deal with in life. You understand? Where there should be love and understanding, there is hate and strife. Where there should be peace and calm, there is just this stirring. It's like conflict everywhere. And sometimes during the midst of these conflicts in our human relationships, some persons would believe that because they don't like you or they don't love you, that God doesn't love you. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. They see you as a castaway, as a reject. It's like, who cares? Sometimes they even rally the troops against their life. Rally others. They get others to join their campaign against their life. But the Lord has been saying to his people, even from the beginning of this year, do not worry, do not fret. I am here, I am your peace, I love you. And today he's saying, I am your strength. Because you see, sometimes when relationships go awry, you know, they, they go somewhere else and you're feeling like, this is depressing. This is oppressing. Yes, sometimes some relationships are very oppressive. But the Lord is saying, rely on me. Rest in me because I am your strength. I will give you the strength to get up every day and face the day knowing that I am with you. And face the day knowing that it doesn't matter who is against you. I am for you, I am with you, I love you, and I am your strength. We have to understand that, friends. We have to get it. We have to get it. It's about time that we understand who God is. Even if sometimes we don't even know who we are, once we get a revelation of who God is, we will get a revelation of who we are in him. Because without God, we are nothing. Never you mind you see people going around bragging, boasting about what they have, what they don't have. All of that is nothing without Christ. 
absolutely nothing. Some people say, you know, I was the one that took myself through college. I was the one that worked hard for this. I was the one that had to do blood, sweat and tears to accomplish this. So which God are you all talking about? And you know what the Bible calls people like that? Fools. Because the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. What these people fail to understand is that if it wasn't for the strength of God, they would not have been able to accomplish anything. Anything. And we should never forget God. Never. Never. You understand? The Lord is our strength. Even individuals, we as individuals can claim that, that the Lord is our strength. But even as nations, as a nation, because it's us, it's the people that make up a nation. And my Bible tells me that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And from time to time we see nations come together, the people in it, and they make decisions that are antichrist, against God, against the order and will of God. But whenever something happens, whenever the enemy strikes, they want to say, oh God, help us. The same people who had kicked God to the curb, pushed him out of the schools, pushed him out of society and say, let's separate God and church and state and they do what they want. But when it comes down to the crunch, everybody is calling on the name of the Lord. You understand? So I'm saying today, friends, when you look around you in the nation that you reside, I'm aware that you're from all over the world. I'm aware of that. You're from all over. And I'm saying, look around in your nation as a child of God. You will notice that it is not well in Zion. It is not well in Zion. There is so much to oppress and depress and cause anxiety. There is so much laws are being passed that are against God. You understand? Decisions are being made without God. And today, the Lord is saying to his people, because you see, he has singled out those who are called by his name. And that is why it's so important for us to live right. That's why our allegiance must be to him and him alone. Because when destruction comes, Yes, he's leading me there this morning. When destruction comes, he covers his people. And even if his people are caught in the midst of it, he will shield them. You understand? Because he's our strength. Let's not forget it, friends. Let's not forget it. As Christians, we don't live in a bubble. We don't exist on our own. Yes, we're in the world. But the Bible says we are not of the world. So our solutions should be different. When we recognize who God is in our personal lives and even in our lives in the community, in the nation, we should understand who we are. And we should not let the things, the strikes that the enemy makes against even the body of Christ frighten us and push us into a corner. No, our response is prayer. Prayer and we pray and we ask the Lord, we petition him to break down those walls of evil and injustice going on around us in the land. And then we pray and we say, Lord, let your righteous people rule. 
let your righteous people rule because Lord you are our strength and we look to you for everything everything so friends today just remember the word of the Lord he says to sing sing about it sing about his mercy sing with joy about his unfailing love because even in the midst of turmoil he loves us in the midst of attacks he loves us in the midst of confusion and chaos he loves us he's our refuge he's our place of safety remember the other morning we talked about him being our strong tower yes yes the Lord is our refuge he's our strength our place of safety when we are in distress so the reason why I talked about nation and community it's because we need to understand that because we're part of the community and a part of the nation trouble will come issues will arise but our confidence is in the Lord it's not in man it's not in their systems because the systems of this world most of them are anti-God anti-God some have a form of godliness but they deny the power thereof but we will not fret we will not worry because we are in God let's look at Isaiah let's look at Isaiah 40 verses 28 and 29 and it says hast thou not known hast thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not neither is weary there is no searching of his understanding he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might he increaseth strength you hear it again you hear it again let's read that again have you never heard have you never understood the Lord is the everlasting God the creator of all the earth he never grows weak or weary never no one can measure the depths of his understanding he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless so that's why friends I can come on here this morning and with boldness and with confidence declare out of my lips that God is my strength I understand that I understand that now because there have been times when I've been weak 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 physically weak emotionally weak and the Lord had to step in and rescue me and teach me teach me his word teach me to be strong teach me to be courageous teach me that I should never ever 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 back down when he is backing me up all right friends so let it be known today in your life in the life of your family that God is your strength are you down and out do you feel really down and out like you have hit rock bottom many of us have been there and the Lord he comes through because you see friends this is something that I've learned about hardships and difficulties and conflicts and you know if we never ever go through these things in life we will not be able to appreciate when the Lord delivers us you understand 
you, you ever heard the song, the hot of the battle, the sweet of the victory? Yes, I know about that. When it gets hot, when it feels as if you're being passed right through the fire, up close and personal, not hearing about the fire, like you're here and you hear the fire over there. Uh-uh, the Lord passes your life through the fire to purge, to strengthen, so that you can stand flat-footed and say, I know who God is. Just like you're hearing me declare right now that I know who God is. You know why? Because I've seen his mighty works. I've seen his mighty hand. I have seen God work. I've seen his miracles in my own life. Supernatural healing. You understand? Supernatural help supernatural restoration restoration restored 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 from so many things you understand i tell you the enemy the devil he's such a liar he's such a liar let me tell you let me tell you what he does let me tell you what he does because the bible said we should not be ignorant of his devices you're going through your walk with Christ and you are, you're doing okay because listen, trouble will not last always, all right? So let's understand that nothing lasts forever. Whatever you're going through, it will not last, okay? So let's understand that. So you're going through your walk with Christ and you meet a roadblock and you're like, okay do I do now? What do I do here? I'm talking about real roadblocks now, real issues, no play play stuff. And you have a decision to make. You can buckle, step back, cower in fear as the enemy wants you to do. Because you see, he's a liar. He can't tell the truth even if they gave it to him on a piece of paper and said, just read that. He couldn't do it. Once it's truth, he cannot. So he comes and he tells you that there's no way out. I know what I'm talking about because he did it to me. He says, there's no way out. Give up. Throw in the towel. Where are you going? Don't bother with that. You don't see you're not going to make it. And some people believe that. And they back away. But I'm here to declare this morning, friends, that when you get to that crossroad and you hear the voice of the Lord saying, charge forward. Yes, he may be sending you into a, a burning inferno, but you trust God. You trust God. You trust God that he will be with you in and through the fire. You understand? Charge ahead with God. Say, for God I live, for God I die, but I'm going with God. You understand? Esther had said, if I perish, I perish, but I must see the king. Have a mind that is so made up that you're going to go with God this year, friends. It doesn't matter what comes on your plate. You say, God, I know that you are there. I know that you are with me because your word has declared it. Your word has declared it and I'm going anyhow. You understand? And watch and see. Not only will the Lord be with you through the fire, but your reward will be waiting on the other side. And I'm not talking about the other side of glory now. I'm talking about right here on earth. Because I've had to walk through some dark days and situations. And there was that light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, that's not a myth, friends. The light at the end of the tunnel, it's not a myth. It's real. Just keep going through your dark hour. The Lord will bring you through. So those who are in the middle of the tunnel now, you, you, you can't even see the light yet. Because remember, some tunnels, they, they are curvy. You understand? 
you go through with God understanding and knowing and remembering that he is your strength he does not want you to forget it walk in power walk with God walk knowing that he is there that's what he has been saying since the start of the year I'm there I'm there with you come on trust God trust in the Lord trust the Lord wholeheartedly friends you go through that purging. You take your licks. Some of us say, <laughs> we get a licking, but we keep on ticking. Yeah, man. When the enemy expects you to buckle and to crumble under the pressure, the pressure in you at work, you stand up and you say, God, go with me. You understand? The pressure in you on the job. Pressure. All angles, when you look, some telling lies, some carrying news. I Listen, I, <laughs> my God, been there, friends, done that, wore the t-shirt. So I'm saying to you, hang in there. Sometimes it's the Lord just pushing you into destiny, but he needs you to be strengthened because where he's taking you, you need this training. You have heard me say it. And it's true. It's true. You need it. You need this. This, this that's troubling your life now, you need it. You need it for that next level. All right? Don't want to keep you too long today. But just remember this. This other verse here. Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. All things, all things. All right? So even when the enemy rises up against you, you just stand in God. Stand. When you feel weak, stand in the strength of the Lord because he's there with you. And that's what he wants me to tell you today, that he is your strength. Yes, you're going back into the workplace to face some situations, but he's saying, I'm already there. I'm already there. So you go through. Some of you, before this year ends, the Lord will lead you into your own business. So he's training you. Yes, man. Training you. Training you to be tough. Training you to deal with all sorts of personalities and people. Yes, that's what that is. So don't give up. He will tell you when it's time to move. Don't move before he says to move. Otherwise, your move will be premature and you're on your own. All right? I've had situations where I wanted to jump ship and leave and do and whatever. And the Lord said, not yet. I'll give you the cue. And let me tell you, he did. <laughs> And the transition was as smooth as ever. You understand? Because the Lord was behind that decision. Smooth transition. Is it always smooth? No. Because the enemy will always want to fight with you. Want to fight and pursue you and run you down and create problems for you. And, you know, don't want to let you go. It's like, you know, some situations are like, you know, the... the Israelites in Egypt, right? But Moses has come to say, let my people go. The Lord said to let my people go. And your day of deliverance is coming, friends. It's coming. Don't think that will last forever. Uh-uh. Your day of deliverance is coming. All right? Just want to pray now and pray for somebody so that they can understand that God is their strength, that he's there nothing goes under God's radar about your life. Nothing. Nothing. The enemy cannot smuggle anything into your life that God doesn't know about. All right? So I want you to remember that. So the next time the adversary rises up against you, just remember who you are. But even before you even know or remember who you are, remember who God is. All right? 
So I'm just going to pray now and just ask the Lord to grant you wisdom. Wisdom to know how to move, when to move. You understand? Wisdom, wisdom. Because we need it. We need that. <laughs> we need God's wisdom. Let me tell you, he will have you say the right thing at the right time. You will not speak out of turn and sink yourself. Sometimes the enemy tries to do that. He tries to get you to get out of character. <clears throat> Excuse me. He tries to get you to do something outside of what God wants. He's trying to trap you. But when you hear the voice of God says, stand still. Do just that. Yes, when I hear that, I feel good. You know why? Because I know he's fighting for me. He knows I want to fight for myself. He knows I want to defend myself. But God in all his wisdom, all his providence knows that that fight is beyond me. It's bigger than me. So you know what he does? He said, stand still and watch me fight for you. I'm speaking to somebody this morning. The Lord is now saying, stand still and watch me work this out. Watch me do it. Haven't I come through for you before? Watch me, watch me, watch me. Yes, I know you're itching to go and do it. I know you're itching to write that letter. I know you're, you're itching to go and cuss them out. But the Lord is saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait on me. Don't go ahead of me. Wait, stay there. Stay right there. I mean, the Lord is saying he's got this. He's got this. He's got this, friends. And when he fixes something, it's well fixed. The enemy cannot come again and undo what God has done. You understand? When he's finished, some will have to catch flights out of your life. You understand? Because the Lord has seen the oppression. He has seen the abuse. He's seeing it. Don't think these things go under God's radar because when you look around you don't see him he's there working on your behalf fixing things for his glory you understand for your good and his glory so you hang in there now you hang in there now you hang in there now all right let them laugh let them talk let them mock. Let them do all manner of evil. Because the Lord is your strength. That's who you're relying on. Remember what we read yesterday? The Lord said he is laughing. Laughing at the wicked. Why? Because he knows that their end is close. You understand? We read that yesterday in Psalm 37. Read the entire Psalm. And apply God's word to your life. Alright? Jehovah sees. Jehovah knows. Don't think he doesn't. Hello? You're the apple of his eye, you know. What do you think? You're some... You see, listen. This is the problem. that the, This is the mistake that the devil makes at times. He thinks that you are just some little commoner. <laughs> So he can come and kick you around and do what he wants. He doesn't realize or seem to know that you are a royal priesthood. You belong to God. You're a kingdom citizen. And the king of this kingdom takes care of his people. You understand? There is no corruption in him right all the things that earthly leaders do at times and make a lot of mistakes god does not make mistakes okay so you go through friends he is your strength and i must pray now <laughs> all right just want to pray for somebody want to lift up somebody before our king my fellow my fellow kingdom person the lord says we should pray for one another 
all right and that's what i'm gonna do now father in the name of jesus i come before you now god i bring my sisters and my brothers before you lord those who are experiencing hardships those who are going through turmoil lord they came across the 2019 with a, a, a positive mindset that things would change that things would shift from how they were last year and the year before and now they're saying it's 2019 why am i still dealing with this lord help them to hold on to be patient to step back and watch you fight on their behalf because there is nothing oh god that has gone beyond your knowledge you see it all you know it all and you know exactly what to do so father cause faith to arise now in their lives oh god faith 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 even like a mustard seed because lord you said even if it's that small you can work with it just help them oh god to apply that and to believe your word to believe what you have said even in your word today lord help us not to be hearers only but to become doers to to participate in your word to do what it says if it says trust you help us oh god to do that to trust in you because lord you are our help we will continue to look to the hills from whence cometh our help some are seeking help oh god from other sources ungodly sources but lord our trust is in you lord if we're not able to come to you where where can we go where can we go but to the lord so lord today i pray for a shift a shift in these situations that are plaguing the lives of your people they're crying out to you Lord and they're saying how long how long how long Lord and all you're saying father is wait I'm there I'm there I'm working on your stuff help us God help us to see what you're doing help us to trust you God even when we cannot trace you. Help us to trust, O oh God, that even when we see just that one set of footprints, Lord, we say it all the time, we sing it, it's a song, it's a poem, one set of footprints in the sand. Because Lord, when we look and we see that one set, we think that is our footsteps but lord it's yours because you're the one carrying us through these hardships and these difficulties do it god carry your people through carry them through oh god carry us through mighty god we need you now more than ever before because the times are getting evil they're evil they're perilous the heart of man have become wicked, wicked, wicked and devious, wicked. They seek blood. They seek the life of your people. So Lord, help us to understand that we're victorious in you. We're already victorious. Help us, God. Help us, Father, to understand that. So Lord, today I pray that you will minister to each person individually. You see them, Lord. You know their names. You know where they live. You know everything about them. So Lord, I ask you right now to enter their situations individually, Lord. Cause them to know in a personal way that you are there and you are fighting for them. Call them by name. Oh God, call their names so that they can hear you. Call out Janice's name, oh God. Say, Janice, I am here. I know what you're going through. Carrie, I am here. I am here. Call their names, God. 
let them hear it. Let them hear it, not even in the spirit alone, but even physically, Lord. They will know that you're there. Call their names, God. Cecilia. Let her hear you call her name, Lord. Locate your people by your spirit today. Locate them, Lord. Locate them. Locate their situation and turn it around. Sherry. Let Sherry hear her name, O oh God, being called by you for action because it is time. Thank you, Father. Call their names now, Lord. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. It's your year. It's your year for favor from the Lord. Jacqueline, my God. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus, call their names, God. Let Cindy hear her name. Lord, it's hard. It's difficult. Your people are in so much pain right now, God. Cindy. Cindy, let the Lord heal you, Cindy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shernet, it's difficult, yes. The Lord knows. He knows, Shernet. He has seen everything that you have been through. Everything. And now you're at your wit's end. But Shernet, hear the word of the Lord today. He is your strength. Shernet, he is your strength. Sandy, Sandy, you're a warrior. You're a warrior for the Lord. The enemy tries to come at you to discourage you, but you are a warrior. Sandy Williams, you are a warrior. All right? I see your name and the Lord said, warrior. Worship is your weapon. All right, Sandy? Worship is your weapon. Kendall, good morning. The Lord is calling your name, Kendall. You have tried so many different things and they don't seem to work. But the Lord is saying, hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And I'm fixing your stuff. I'm fixing your life. Karima. Karima. Karima Bob. The Lord is calling your name. He's calling your name for healing. He's calling your name for favor. Karima, believe God. All right? Believe God, Karima. It doesn't matter how things look. Believe God. Thank you, Lord. Desiree. Desiree. Desiree Hosang. Desiree. 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hmm. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Father. Fix it, fix it. Fix Desiree's life. She's trusting in you, God. Fix it, fix it, God. Fix it, God. Fix it, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Michi, Michi, faithful one, Michi, Michi Foster, good morning, Michi, the Lord is calling your name today, Michi, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on to God, all right, hold on, thank you Jesus. 
Samonia. Samonia. Such a lovely name. Samonia. Samonia. The Lord has located you. He has located you and he's calling your name Samonia. You're not on by accident. Samonia. Watch for God to work in your life. Because he's an intentional God. I hear brilliance, bright. That's you. Intelligence. Watch God. Samonia. Watch God. Watch God. Watch what he will do with what he has already deposited in you. Higher heights. Higher heights in God. Thank you, Lord. Celia, Celia, good morning, Celia, the Lord is calling your name today, Celia, he's calling your name for greatness, he's calling your name for success, just trust him wholeheartedly, all right, trust him, hold on to him, hold on to him, Celia, he knows your past and it's gone. All right? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You have nothing to prove to a soul, Celia. All right? God loves you. He says, come closer and watch me in your life. Thank you, Lord. Princess. Princess. That name alone should tell you who you are. You are God's princess. All right? You are royalty. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Florencia. 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 Florencia, you are blessed. Florencia, you are favored. Florencia, the Lord knows. He knows your struggles. Florencia, he knows. And he's come down to help you. You're the apple of his eye. Some around you may not think you are. But yes, you are. You're beautiful in the sight of God. Florencia. God bless you, Florencia. God bless you. God bless you, friends. Leslie, good morning. God bless you. The Lord is calling your name today, Leslie. Leslie, Leslie, the Lord has located you, Leslie, you hang in there, you have so many questions, Leslie, yes, the Lord is saying you have a lot of questions, <laughs> but he's going to answer them in his timing, just hang in there, all right, Stacy Ann, Stacy Ann. Stacy Ann, the Lord is calling your name today for favor. Stacy Ann. Stacy Ann Harvey. God bless you today. Bridget. 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I got to go. I got to go. Jesus. Bridget, Bridget, you have been through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, but the Lord is saying, hold on, man, your shift is coming, hold on, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bridget, just hang in there with God, hang in there with God, don't give up. 
it's not giving up time now, Bridget. Sister Shelley, good morning. Sister Shelley, the Lord is calling your name. You love him. You want to serve him. But there are so many obstacles right now. But you keep holding on to God. He will bring you through. All right, Sister Shelley? Yes. He'll do it for you. All right? Friends. The Lord is just... <laughs> Cynthia, 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 you love God a lot. Yes, you do. You love God a lot. And he's about to favor your life. Cynthia, Cynthia, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned Cynthia let them talk <laughs> I'm hearing them but guess what I'll have to talk to you off the air let them talk let them talk you see sometimes the enemy has no idea who is coming up against when he touches the people of God he has no idea I know I'm missing some names, right? But the Lord knows. He has already located you and he's calling your name today. All right? He is. He is. Dion. 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 You trust in the Lord. All right? Dion. Trust God with your whole heart. Right? Turn everything over to him. Dion and watch him Nettie Nettie good morning may the Lord bless your life today and endure you with his favor Nettie God bless you today God bless you today you're holding on hold on hold on hold on Nettie Patsy 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 Good morning May the Lord bless you today You have a heart that cares So may the Lord Bless your life To the overflow 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 Patsy May your life overflow because of the heart that you have towards others. All right? May the Lord bless you today, friends. May the Lord bless you today and keep you and cause your life to prosper in him. Ivy. Ivy. Ivy Harris. Yes, you. Yes, you, Ivy. May the Lord draw you even closer to him. All right? You, <laughs> you are one of those ones, Ivy, that just have a heart of gold. And the Lord sees that. And he will honor that. So you hang in there with God, Ivy. You hang in there. Hang in there, Ivy. We will talk. There is something else. I can't say it here. <laughs> I can't. But may the Lord bless you today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. All right? So, friends, I give God thanks for what he has done today. Shanake. 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 You're a serious one. <laughs> Shanake. Shanake. The Lord is saying this morning that 
he will work out those details that you have some concerns about he said just allow him just remember that he is your strength Shanaki he is your strength he is your strength we talked about it today I'm not sure at what stage you came on but the Lord is saying he is your strength and he's taking care of those details you know exactly what they are just keep on trusting in him and watch him work things out all right Shanaki, may the Lord bless you today. May the Lord bless you and cause your life to prosper right where you are. All right? Because who God bless, no man can curse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Angela. 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 Trust in the Lord with all your might trust him even when you don't know what he's doing trust in the Lord Angela you stay in that word you stay in the word that you love so much because within the the word you will find wisdom knowledge understanding strength to deal with even the onslaught of the enemy against their life you stay with God Angela you you stick with God you stick with God and watch him work things out all right Angela stay with God friends I have to go now I've gone way over, way over, but the Lord is in control. He's who ordained it to go like this today. My simple plan was just to come, encourage, half hour, and move on. But he had another plan. So friends, you 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 just trust God today, you hear? He's your strength. The devil cannot overthrow what God has already declared over your life. I tell you, he's coming hard at some of you. He's trying to knock the wind out of you. But you hang in there with God. Okay? Hang in there. Do not give up. 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 Hang in there. All right, and as I said, if you're on and you did not hear your name, don't think that you're left out at all. You're still the apple of God's eye. But according to what the Lord has shown me, I said the names. Some of the names, I miss them because they scroll past. But to God be the glory, great things he has done. You just hang in there with God, read his word, listen to him, right? Laws may change. Different things may happen around you, but the Lord is saying stick with him because he is your strength. All right, friends, so may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you his peace peace that passeth all understanding not the peace that the world gives because the peace that you have the world didn't give it and the world cannot take it away all right so you rest in God now knowing that he's the author and the finisher of your faith and he who began a good work in you is able to complete it till the day of Jesus Christ all right I'll continue to pray for you friends I've gotten some requests I have the names yes I'm praying I'm praying for you for your breakthrough 
all right and when that breakthrough happens don't be afraid to testify testify about the goodness of god all right you testify you let that devil know you lose again all right so until we meet again in this fashion you always hear me say it take care